Right, and of course we continue with our special broadcast on the centenary of our Tambo and service delivery to the people of Mbizana has been the order of the day the last few months. Housing, water, tarred roads and electricity all welcome birthday gifts from the Eastern Cape government. This of course is in recognition of the work done by our Tambo and part of the legacy of the former ANC president. Let us once again cross live to our reporter live from Mbizana, uh, Unati Pingose. Unati, good morning to you once again. We've been reporting from this week about the improvement in terms of service delivery, how was the area before all of this came into being? Great Palisa, uh, very good morning to you as we welcome you back to Pizana. As you can hear me, Alice, it is the local choir. And of course, it's something that was dearest uh, to Dada Oliver Tambo. We know his love for choral music. And they are here, of course, to witness this event. And of, and, and of course, ensure that uh, the guests who are here in attendance are kept in the teens right through uh, the program, which is set to take about um, four hours to complete. And um, coming back to your question, I mean, um, uh, this area has been one of those most remote and, of course, one of those uh, disadvantaged communities. But uh, things have changed quite drastically uh, over the past past five years or so and of course that has been part of a build up to these centenary celebrations of Tata um, Oliver Tambo and I can tell you that it's been a multi-pronged intergovernmental um, program uh, that has taken place here and of course over the past couple of days uh, we saw water and sanitation minister uh, Nomvula Mukonyane opening uh, the Luteka Dam and of course uh, the minister of transport uh, Mr. Masonganyi was also here um, of course um, handing out some bicycles which are Set to benefit um, those who are attending schools. I mean, uh, the issue of school is um, something of a serious concern, of course, here. Yeah. Uh, learners are still walking long distances to, to, to get to school, and of course, those bicycles are set to come in handy. Of course, one glaring um, improvement that has taken place here uh, since the last time I personally was here, some five years ago, uh, is that uh, the road uh, linking Bizana, which is the town here, and the village of Gandolo has been tarred. Uh, it, it has made a drastic improvement, of course and uh, it has cut the traveling time by a significant amount. And of course, those are the, economy, rather, those are the service delivery spin-offs uh, that are set to benefit not just the people of uh, Gandolo, of course, uh, and not just the people of uh, Mbizana and surrounding areas, uh, but the entire Eastern Cape as uh, government is driving forward uh, the issue of uh, service delivery. And of course, these uh, seminar celebrations have been a catalyst in fast striking that. But to speak more about issues of service delivery and how this province uh, has benefited Featured from pro programs like this, we now have a pleasure of being joined by the Premier of the Eastern Cape, Utatu uh, Pumulo Maswale. Say a very good morning to you. Um, service delivery, it, it is a major, major issue. Uh, but of course, critics will say um, it took a bit of a while uh, to get things going here. How, how do you feel about, though, about what has happened? Well, look, firstly, we are quite excited to have reached the milestones we have. Development is ongoing and uh, it has taken us time to concentrate in certain parts of the province which were really poverty stricken uh, infrastructure was uh, quite uh, uh, not uh, in abundance in these areas but uh, with the uh, goings on the developments around the centenary we've been able to through government effort both national provincial and local government concentrated our efforts at securing uh, the amount of development we are able to see today road infrastructure uh, people being built houses access to clean water as well as electrification these are ongoing services some of which were not available to many of our people here it is work that is ongoing we truly appreciate uh, the advances made thus far and of course um, we've seen some service delivery protests uh, particularly over the past week and uh, seemingly that uh, people of course as much as you are doing uh, it seems as though they are still looking for more well certainly with all the things done, uh, people want to have uh, more of them everywhere. Uh, I, th I think we cannot downplay the fact that uh, for quite a long time, this area has been really uh, not receiving that amount of uh, uh, development. Uh, some of the things we take for granted elsewhere are still some of the basic necessities for some of the people here. Uh, for instance, uh, if you're talking housing de development, with respect to rural housing, for instance, literally all our villages have got people who are deserving to be built houses and 
all of them are eager to be built houses yesterday, not any, t they have not more time to wait. That what really gives, I mean, brings about the protests you see, but also road infrastructure access. These are some of the things uh, that uh, those who live in the urban environments, in the cities, take these for granted. But here they are still very basic ones for the people. So yes, they will clamor when they don't see much of those in a quick, in quick time. But certainly we do this uh, with uh, available resources. And resources the country as a whole doesn't have enough to make all of this place to look like the more urban centers. But it is work that is continuing. We're appreciating the strides made thus far as I had said. Lastly, before I let go, Eastern Cape, the home of legends, what does it mean for the province to have legends like um, Tadawar Tambo and of course a whole lot of list of, of other uh, individuals coming from this province? Truly, we, we pride ourselves of such gallant uh, fighters, uh, such uh, outstanding leaders that have uh, contributed uh, to the well-being of humanity in our country. We look up to them as inspiration. Many of the youth of our country, of our province, have such role models to look up to. Certainly, we hope to contribute further as, the, as this part of the country in producing such leaders that will be acknowledged for the sacrifices, the contributions they make. We can truly live uh, up to them. Uh, the likes of Nelson Mandela, Walter Sisulu, or Artambo Krizani. They are truly uh, outstanding sons of our country, and we look to emulate their efforts. Sir, thank you very much. That was the premier of the Eastern Cape. And of course, after the break, we do have um, a legend, uh, a veteran of the ANC, uh, someone who's been in government for the past 20 years and someone who has had uh, a working relationship with Utadawar Tambo. But we'll get more from that after the ad break.